If you can't stand the heat, your employers just won't give a damn. Shortly after I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, I started work at a retail store. Let's call it nostalgic stuff. And anyone who's worked retail before knows helping out Eric and customers several times a day can be pretty stressful. So naturally, I thought my brain squeezing headaches, nervous twitches, and lightheaded dizziness were all just part of the job. And I dealt with it for eight months, not really thinking about potential MS symptoms. Until one day. It was one of the hottest days of the summer, and I was looking forward to working in air conditioning, especially since there was no AC in my car. Did I mention I lived almost 32 miles away from the store? So no problem, I'll roll down all the windows on the way there. And then, traffic jam. I can't even remember what it was that stopped everything. For all I know, every car and truck just stopped on the interstate just to rubberneck at an accident. What I did know was that I was going to be late. Like, real late. So I called the store. The manager answered. I should also mention that this was a new manager. One I hadn't even worked a full week with yet. So I was nervous about telling her I was going to be so late. But luckily she seemed to understand. In the next 30 minutes, traffic didn't even move half a mile. And man, was it getting hot in that car. It was painful. I was stuck. Sweat poured all the way down my body. I tried my luck with the AC, turning it on full blast. It just made it hotter. I had to do something. Anything. That's when I spotted it. The closest exit. Where it led off, I didn't know. I just knew it had to lead somewhere familiar, closer to my usual route. It was something I had to try. And I would use the GPS on my phone to get myself to work. It took about 10 more minutes, but I finally got off the interstate. Smooth sailing from here on in. Or so I thought. That's when it happened. I started losing focus. My eyes started wandering around, no matter how hard I tried to look forward. So I pulled over before I got in an accident. I looked at my phone. It was, it was like the screen was trying to fly away. I knew this feeling before. It was the same double vision symptom that caused the doctors to test me for multiple sclerosis. And it was back, and I knew why. I was overheated. I was already an hour late for my shift at work and surely enough, the manager called me, demanding to know where I was and why I wasn't there. So I tried explaining, exasperatedly, yes I know I'm late, I'm just, I don't know where I am right now and I'm just trying, don't you have GPS on your phone, she interrupted. Yeah I do, but I I'm trying, it it's just not that easy for, she interrupted again. I don't want to hear any excuses, just get here whenever you can. And that was what shut me up. I had trouble explaining to myself what was going on with me, so how could I explain it to her? So I thought, I'll just get there and find the right words to say on the way. I'll tell her in person. So I said, okay, and then I hung up. I calmed myself in the shade. I remember something my nurse said, cool down and symptoms will decrease gradually. It must have worked because I got my vision back. And then I used GPS to get me through back rows all the way to nostalgic stuff. And I made it. I was almost an hour and a half late, my clothes were covered with sweat, and I looked and felt like utter crap, but I made it. Now I would have to go in and explain to the manager what was happening. It didn't turn out that way. I walked into the store and saw that the place was a circus and my coworkers needed all the help they can get because it was really busy. My problems didn't seem so big anymore, so I walked in and helped out. After the rush though, I tried to explain to the manager why I was so late, but she wouldn't hear it. She had already told me I would get written up for this, so it was pretty clear that no excuse was going to get me out of this. I had it coming, I felt. I should have prepared better. I should have left much earlier, etc. and so on. Medical problem be damned. Even when she made me stay an extra hour after my shift to make up the time, I didn't argue. I couldn't bring myself to. I felt lazy. I had this coming. I'll make it up to her in time. And I got written up. Fair was fair. But then the next day, something was wrong with my left leg. It felt weak, like I had to drag a weight on the left side of my body. It carried on through the week, and I thought more about the other stuff. All the headaches, all the dizziness, all the twitches, all the stuff I would get on the job. I thought more seriously about them. And that's when I realized I should have tried harder to explain my condition. I did not deserve to be written up for something that couldn't be helped. And that was it. A little heat messed me up, and that was when I started taking my MS seriously. Soon after, I was fired from nostalgic stuff. For an error of judgment, that was my fault, let me just make it clear. I even started using a cane, and I use it regularly because the weak left leg is not part of my flare-ups. I got a new job, something more relaxing than working retail. 
And I'm still learning how to deal with the disease at work, but I'd say I'm doing a lot better than I was before.